she can't explain to me why she why she comes home late, or where she is when I text her and call her, and she comes home with excessive amounts of money. She's the judge who gives rules on the law and life. She's intense with common sense. She's Judge Lynn Toller on Divorce Court, where real couples deal with real life. Anthony Hawthorne met Ronnie Wesley at a local gas station three years ago. At first, Anthony claims Ronnie was supportive of his rap career, and Ronnie says Anthony was all for her part-time pole dancing career. But now, Ronnie wants her boyfriend to get a real job, while he insists she climb down off the pole for good. She pulls out this wad of money, I'm talking to like six, seven hundred dollars, and I'm like, she like, oh, this all, this all for us. I'm doing this for us. I'm the one bringing home money. Why should he even care? I bring care? home money too. Oh, what are no, you talking no. about? No, I bring no, home money not, too. not money like I bring home. Anthony says he deserves a woman who will support his rap career. Today on Divorce Court. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Anthony Hawthorne and Ronnie Wellesley. The two of you have been living together for the last two years. You are seeking today to dissolve that cohabitation situation. You've given me your paperwork uh, in which you explain to me what you believe each one of you should take out of the relationship. And we will talk about it momentarily. And we're also going to have an issue about who's supposed to pay the back rent and, and, and those things which we will resolve. So before we get to all of that, I'm going to start with Mr. Hawthorne. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why you're seeking to dissolve it here today? My girlfriend is a pole dancer, and she's a liar, and I had enough of it. She can't explain to me why she, why she comes home late, or where she is when I text her and call her, and she comes home with excessive amounts of money because she's pole dancing. Yeah. Now, was she a pole dancer when you met her? No, she wasn't. Okay. And how long into your cohabitation situation before she went to the pole? Well, maybe. <laughs> well, well, maybe after. Maybe maybe a year after. A she, year after. Yeah. Did you two talk about it at all? Well, about... she, well she, she has a friend that owns a studio, and she, you know, she talked to me about it. I was like, okay, cool. And I, you know, I support her. I love her, so I said it's right. fine. The operative word being cool, he was fine with it when we discussed it. Right. If you said it was cool, how you how come you're because mad about it, it because, now? Because it was it was so it was so sexy to me. She was bringing new moves home, you know, trying them on me. Oh, so there so, were fringe benefits yeah, that so you I'm, were getting like, from her cool. new career. But after after her lying to me because she told me one day she's like, babe, lie. I'll be home at ten o'clock, right? Mm -hmm. I was like, okay. So two thirty in the morning, she rolls in. And, and, you know, I wake up out of my sleep, and I'm like, what's going on? She pulls out this wad of money. I'm talking to, like, six, seven hundred dollars. And I'm like, she like, oh, this all, this all for us. I'm doing this for us. I'm like... Doing not, what not, for us? Not, exactly. Not, like, I'm a man, right? I go to the strip club sometimes. Okay, I, well, I don't, okay. Hang on. Strip, I'm, 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 hang on. I don't go to the strip club anymore because I'm with her. She right. does these things for me. But when I was going to the strip club with my friends, I know what they do when they pay for the champagne room, right. and I know what goes on in okay. there. And when she comes home off. with this amount of money... Off. You're There's questioning what she's done Exactly. Again. Ms. Wesley, why don't you respond to that? Are you... I mean, what you doing? First of all, first of all, I have a job as a social worker, okay? That's my primary job. Okay. I've been a social worker for the past five mm -hmm. years, okay? That check supports both of us, I want to add. Second, okay, I started pole dancing. I do make money sometimes. I don't, work, I, don't, I don't work in a club. I dance at shows. I perform with bands. I perform at events. There's no stripping involved. It is just dancing. dancing. And, yes. and, and you, you're very adamant about that, so much so that you submitted a tape yes. of what you do to the court so yes. we know just what it really means when, when we talk about what you're exactly. doing. So we're going to see that right here. So that's just a typical routine. No nudity, nothing provocative. Nothing it's provocative. athletic. Nothing provocative. <laughs> nothing. I use a persona. I don't even use my real, na real name. It has nothing to do with anything. There's nothing no reason. There's no reason there, to have huh? an issue. There's okay. absolutely no reason to have an issue. 
A wad of six or seven hundred dollars. That is a lot. That is Your not Honor. true. That is not true. And even if I did, I'm the one bringing home money. Why should he even I bring care? Home money too. Oh, what are no, you talking no. about? No, I no. Bring home money not, too. not money like I bring home. Okay. You say that Miss Wesley does not support your rap career. That's right. Explain that to no. me. Okay. <laughs> at, at career. First, when, career. When I first when I first met Miss Wesley, we used to you know, talk like all night long, like just even to the sunrise sometimes. And I used to tell her my aspiration, my dream, she was totally with it. Now, all of a sudden, since I'm late nights in the studio and I'm dealing with my friends in the studio, which are women, she has a problem with that. Okay. Like one night she told me- Who are your friends in the studio? What is, what job is that? They, 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 they right here pop too. And I did a song with, with a female artist and she became a good friend. She's like one of the guys, right? you right. know, and she brings her friends through and we just have a good time recording. Like one night I was in the booth and you can't be, you can't be answering the phone when you're in the booth and I was recording. So after, after the session, I was like, I, I was looking at my phone. I'm like, she's like, if you don't come home right now, I'm sitting your stuff outside, okay. and if you don't come out, Let I'm sitting your stuff that. outside. Let me explain that. Let me explain that. Okay, go ahead. The night that that happened, I was fed up. I don't even go to the studio anymore because I'm tired of the girl. Like, okay, maybe one or two of the girls are actually there working. working. A lot of people are just hanging out. You know right. what I'm what saying? Hang on. No, hang on, that's on, not on. what you do when you're supposed to be working. You're not a hip hop artist. No, no, you aren't either. When Divorce Court continues, does Ronnie wish Anthony could be more like Mike? So the next morning, I'm getting up to put on my Michael Jordan. I got 11 pairs of Michael Jordans that I spent mm -hmm. good money for. Mm -hmm. Jordans nowadays cost from $250 to $500. All of my left feet Jordans was gone. Divorce isn't easy. Call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com or become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court is back with the case of Ronnie Wesley, who says her live-in boyfriend contributes little to the household. But is Ronnie enjoying Anthony too much to care about money? Is the sex so good you get a little confused and, and don't make him, uh, don't make him contribute? Are you angry because he's not successful yet? Yes. Well, isn't part of being a partner to somebody is supporting them Thank while you. they're getting where they're going because Thank you can't you. just show up? I feel like I am supporting him by paying the bills. You don't to pay me, all the bills. Support. And I was I, very active in going to the studio and going to events and boosting up his little ego. But the girls, the people, the late nights in the studio, I can only take so much. Mm -hmm. And then maybe like a year ago, I was just like, I'm tapped out. Like, I can't, you got to do something. Plus, he's almost 40. Hmm. Tell me about her. Uh, I guess a fit of anger that she had and, and some, some sneakers that didn't survive. Well, like one night, right, I was coming home from the studio. I'm like, baby, I just recorded a new song. She used to be really, really excited about my music. So I'm like, I'm like, okay. So I was ready to play my music. She's like, I don't want to hear it tonight. I'm done with that. So the next morning, I'm getting up to put on my Michael Jordans. Now, I got 11 pairs of Michael Jordans that I spend mm -hmm. good money for. Jordans mm -hmm. nowadays cost from $250 to $500. All of my left feet Jordans was gone. Oh. All of the left feet was gone. And I'm like, where's my shoe? I'm like, what's up with my shoe? So she couldn't explain that. She was like, whatever, and left. Now, are, are you messing with his mind by taking half of his, his pairs of shoes? That's better than taking both. Why would you do that? How did that get you what you wanted? It didn't get me what I wanted, but I'm just tired. I'm tired of him not contributing. I'm tired of him being cheap. If I'm doing little silly stuff like taking left shoes, I feel like that's nothing compared to what I'm going through with him. Okay. Now, let me ask you this, Mr. Hawthorne. You can afford five, what is it, 10 pairs? 11. 11 pairs of $250 Jordans. 
How much do you contribute towards the household? Your Honor, we have great, fantastic sex, right? Right. <laughs> After the sex, when I'm about to give her the money, she's like, oh, no, baby, it's cool. You keep a few dollars for you. You can just give me this. And she did this on numerous occasions. One occasion, she was like, just keep it all. It's OK. You all right. Why would sex, I do that? I'd is be out the of sex my mind. so good you get a little confused and, and <laughs> don't, make him, uh, don't make him contribute? Now, lie about it. No, okay, that, I'm not even going to say anything about that, but I would never just say, oh, don't give me anything. There's no way. There's no way. He doesn't even contribute every single month. He doesn't put anything on the bills. Like I said, That's he's cheap truth. on top of all of that. He didn't get me anything for Christmas. That's not my the birthday, truth. Hang on, hang on. Which was just the very next month or for Valentine's Day. I got into a fender bender, okay? I'm, like, crying, upset. Nobody's hurt, but, you know, that's yeah, jarring. Yeah, I'm yeah. upset. Tony is the first person I called, not even my insurance company, mm -hmm. Tony, OK? Right. So we're on the phone. He gets a click on the other line, goes, oh, you know what? This is so-and-so. Let me call you back, his ex-girlfriend. I'm on the phone. Mr. Oh. Mr. Hang on, let's, let's stop. Mr. Hawthorne, did that happen? Yes, it did, Your Honor. Do you see how wrong that was? I do see how wrong that was, and I apologize. Yeah, but but no, however, no, wait, hang on, Mr. Hawthorne, let me say this to you. When somebody does something like that, it speaks to me. It speaks to me about how you handle business, how you deal with her, and how what you want comes before her feelings. When Divorce Court continues, is Ronnie right to demand that Anthony find a new career? When you have the lack of support and what you love to do, you started to, to drive a wedge into your relationship. And that's what she's been doing. She's been verbally abusive, calling me an old rapper. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court returns with the case of Anthony Hawthorne, who wants his girlfriend to be more supportive of his rap career. But has Ronnie long since given up hope that Anthony will become a rap superstar? When I went to the restroom and tried to come back from the restroom, he pulled up to the side like, you know you could have did way better than him. She like, I know, but I'm going to try to work it out. I heard this. She's a drama queen, Your Honor. What? You no, don't no, no, know no, no, what no, no, I no, see. No. She takes stuff overboard. She's like a little Napoleon. When she gets mad, she goes into a fit of rage, like my, like my leather coat. She cut up. Did you what cut up his that? leather coat? What can I say? Miss <laughs> Wesley, I just, you know, I don't She's understand evil. that. When women take the, you know, they get upset and you start destroying, so you, he doesn't contribute any money and then you tear up what you do have that has already cost money. What does that get you? Where is I that? I understand it's immature, it's silly and all that, but I mean, I don't, you, I just get fed up with him and I act out and I know it's wrong, but mm. I'll admit it. It, it I, happened. It, it was happens. wrong and it, I mean, it was happening. Yeah, and I'm wrong. Do you understand at all what she's telling you about feeling unappreciated? I do feel that, Your Honor, but I was giving her all of the love, all of my attention in the beginning. When she stops supporting me, Your Honor, and that's like with any man or woman, when you have the lack of support and what you love to do, you started to, to drive a wedge into your relationship. Mm -hmm. And that's what she's been doing. She's been verbally abusive, calling me an old rapper. You need to not do this. I remember, <laughs> I remember we went out to one of her relatives' house. <laughs> And we went on his on his little boat or whatever, and, and we was having drinks, and it was all nice. And do you know when you start to drink, the truth comes out. And he was like, oh, so you still a rapping, huh, after all these years. She sniggled with them, like, ha, 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 ha. And I'm like, you supposed to have my back. Right. And then when I went to the restroom and tried to come back from the restroom, he pulled up to the side like, you know you could have did way better than him. She like, I know, but I'm going to try to work it out. I heard this. Did you really do I that while your man was the there whole talking about you we could have done there. better than this? And I didn't think he heard us. <laughs> <laughs> when divorce court continues, will Ronnie's fears that Anthony has been cheating on her be confirmed or denied? Mr. Hawthorne, why don't I just ask you straight out? Have you, in fact, cheated on Ms. Wesley? Divorce Court returns with the case of Anthony Hawthorne and Ronnie Wesley, 
who are in court today seeking a dissolution of cohabitation after two years of living together. He says he started not caring about your feelings when you stopped being supportive. And he says you were supportive at one point. I was. Why and did I'm you stop? You I stopped like being I'm... supportive because he wasn't getting anywhere or because of you believe he's actually cheating or is it a little bit of all I, of that? I think I'm mostly upset about him cheating. I don't have any proof, but I, you just know. You as a woman, you just know. I don't, and the times I went to the studio and... Mr. Hawthorne, why don't I just ask you straight out? Have you, in fact, cheated on Ms. Wesley? I, I have. See, I knew it. How often? Maybe twice, Your Honor. Maybe twice? So it could be more? It's only twice. Twice? Yeah. But with the lack of support, with the lack of her not trusting me, and just, you know, I really tried to get this girl for all my love. I know I'm getting older, and what I'm trying to do, and when you posed to be my rock, when I'm supporting you, when I told you it was cool for you to be a pole dancer, what man do you know saying it's cool for you to go out and cock your legs over for another man, no matter what you're doing? And you stopped supporting me, period. You drove me to another person. Oh, I'm so whatever, man. Whatever, Ms. Wesley, man. Did, did you look at him? Do you hear and see his pain? Do you feel it? There's never an excuse for cheating because the correct response to that. But he's trying to do something. It's hard. Everybody's trying to do it. It's a one in a million shot. But he was hurt. He was hurt by how you responded, like, he's not good enough. He didn't make it, so he's not good enough anymore. And I will say this, whatever raggedy stuff that happens around the rap life, I mean, that's no more raggedy than stuff that happens around the pole. <laughs> so you two have talked, you, you, you filled out forms rather, rather extensively about uh, the things that you want, and, and you're pretty much in agreement on who should take what when you go. Your thing is you want $271.86 for a PlayStation. Explain that to me. She owes me for my PlayStation that she ruined, I talking did, about she made a mistake and spilled water in it. You want $5,250 for unpaid rent. Explain that to me. Okay, the rent is $875 a month. I just calculated half of that for 12 months, which he didn't pay. And I'm being nice because we lived together for more like two years, but I'm just asking for a year. Okay. And that's just a half of the rent for the whole year. You made a decision to support him in his efforts to do something, something by, in part, providing him with housing while he does his thing. That's what you decided to do. You cannot decide that it is agreement otherwise now. Uh, I don't know what happened with the PlayStation. I mean, I, I, I believe you did it because it sounds like something you do. You rip, you tear, you throw out. So I am going to, I, I am going to uh, award him that. But before I do that, I'm going to say this. I think that this relationship is salvageable. I do. I think you got to get your head together about what's right and, and what support is and what you want and what you need. I think you need to get your head together about how you reassure a woman who's insecure and on whom you have cheated, how you, uh, how you reassure her about your devotion. I think it's salvageable, but if you, if you don't, I mean, if you guys do absolutely dissolve this thing, you are entitled for the amount of the PlayStation, which I find that she tore up, because that is something that she would do. So $271.86 in favor of Mr. Hawthorne. It is so ordered. Thank you. All rise. Parties may leave the courtroom. Anthony says he continues to be apologetic about cheating on Ronnie and wants to work things out with her. Ronnie says she is absolutely done with Anthony and will never take him back. She claims Anthony made up lies in court and says she will never trust him or consider being with him again. 